What's up guys? So, Ben here, I'm out on a little walk where I live. Um, got the mic, the little bit fell off. But this video <clears throat> is called Honesty, right? That's what I've titled the video. And I kind of had this vision, like to do this exactly where I'm walking um, and just make a video, just kind of addressing the fact that, you know, I was even having a conversation with a friend today about it, um, how, the future of content is raw, unedited, real kind of things. Like people at the end of the day, they want to trust you. They want to feel like they know you as a person. And the only way you can really do that is by being truthful, being honest about who you are and the struggles and being vulnerable. And that's really, at the end of the day, that's what's going to make you relatable. So I thought today, you know what? Like I'm going to go out, have a walk out in nature where I'm alone, it's quiet. And uh, I can just kind of break down where I'm at and obviously, I think at a point, you don't want to go too deep into your life because it could potentially be dangerous in some ways. But I think there is a level of which you can be open. And I think a lot of social media nowadays is fake. Portraying these, everyone's trying to portray this image of a successful life. And really, it's just kind of shallow and it's just kind of, it's kind of boring, you know? Um, so yeah, so with myself, um, you know, like, if I'm being brutally honest, you know, the last, I don't know, let's say this year so far, at the start of the year, I definitely had a vision of what I wanted to do and completely got destroyed. Like, you know, all the things I had in my head I was gonna accomplish just didn't quite come to be, you know? And then I was in a, like a negative cycle of beating myself up because I hadn't done that and I hadn't achieved that. And, and you know, it's, especially when you set goals and you, you wanna, you, you feel like you're somewhat competing with the people around you, like you can go into this kind of negative spiral that you're not living up to the standards, you're not being the best you can be. You know, you set a goal and you haven't hit it. You had this idea of what the year would look like and it hasn't played out exactly how you want it. But you know what, like, this is, this is what I wanna talk about in this video is that in life, we think we're in control. We think we're the ones that are like, we think we, we, we're choosing what happens and, and to a degree we definitely are but I truly believe that there are forces that go beyond um, our understanding that dictate what actually happens and sometimes in life change comes you know sometimes you beat down a path for so long and out of nowhere something changes something out of the blue happens and it's those things that happen in our life they're the things that actually shape us and mold us and force us to grow you know because we do naturally just kind of strive for comfort so keep keep with the title of the video honesty myself i've been feeling this lately you know i've just been feeling not myself been kind of you know just not 100 percent like um you know at my core i'm happy you know I, I, i'm not dep i'm not depressed per se in the sense of oh like i want to kill myself or anything but it is this kind of feeling of like what am i doing like what what is this you know what is the vision what am i doing like there's no structure to my life and i think we like to think we've we like to think we're the architects of our own life but i do i truly believe sometimes god or the, the higher power whatever you want to call it kind of just goes you know what like you've got more I need more from you I need to shape you more I need to put you through more situations because you're not ready like you're not ready to to be the person you need to be you know for me to come on here and be like to you guys hey I'm Ben I'm gonna help you uh, progress in life um, you know follow all my tips and it's like bro what have you done you know what have you even done what have you accomplished what have you been through you know who am I to to give all this advice and a lot of times it's our ego thinking oh, I'm gonna be this a celebrity guy who's gonna you know be this influential person but the only way you can do that is by doing it's by living it's by actually like going out there and doing something in the world and going through these ups and downs and and like I think the beauty of what I want this channel to potentially be is to share that you know to share like this is my experience this is what's happening um and it's like yeah like fuck I feel I don't, you know I haven't felt good like you know if we're keeping it real like there'll be nights where I don't want to go as far to say I would cry myself to sleep because that sounds pretty that's not that's not true but like there'll be nights where I lie there and in bed and I just think to myself like what what no I have no clue like I just don't know I don't know what to do like I don't know what the next step is like I keep trying I keep, keep getting up every day and like there's days where I just can't get out of bed there's days where I'm just like I just don't want to don't want to do it I'm like fuck this 
But guys, life is tough, you know, life is tough. And I don't want to sit here and be like, to all you guys, yeah, I'm Ben, and do these things, and let's be productive, and da 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 when it's like, actually, you know what, myself, I'm not even there, 100%, and that's okay. And that's okay, because what you're going to see is, you're going to see me change, you're going to see me transform, you're going to see where I'm at now, and you're going to see progression, because uh, right now, you know, I'm out here, walking, talking, but I may not be in the most prestigious place in the world. To me, this is the most prestigious, well, actually, that's a lie. To me, being out in nature is probably one of the most prestigious places you can be, because when you're in nature, you, it allows you to ground yourself, calm yourself, and I'm very lucky to live where I live. Now, obviously, it's summer coming up. You know, the trees are green, the grass is green, so I can always go back to this. Not everyone is as fortunate to have that, but the point I was making is, I may not be as prestigious place, so to say, that exudes success, but what you have to understand is just because I haven't had my hair cut, maybe I've got a few spots. You might have even seen in my videos like I'm covered in spots, right? Covered in acne. Bro, you don't know why that is. You know, people are sending me comments. Oh, I like fix your acne. I'm like, obviously I don't, I don't care. I'm pretty confident in myself, but I just think sometimes like, do you know why I have acne? Do you, do you know why? Like, do you know what's going on in my head? Do you know what I'm dealing with? Like in my life? Um, and that's not me playing a victim by no means. And I'm not here to kind of be like, oh, like, no, 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 bro. I'm taking action like every single day, you know, in some form of way I am doing something, but you know, in life, we go through difficult things we go through traumas we we have breakups you know i, I broke up with my ex-girlfriend a year ago it hasn't been easy to get over you know but it was only it's only been about 10 months or 11 months um, yeah about that 10 months later that i actually started to feel the effects of it i actually started to like these emotions that i'd suppressed for so long started to come up and like even in some of my videos you saw i did psilocybin mushrooms and when i did those i, I could you know i explained in the video like i just cried like crazy so there was a lot of grief that I had just suppressed that I hadn't even processed and um, now it's like coming to the surface but these are all things you have to do you know, this is the part of life like it's not as straightforward as just completing your goals like there's so many more layers to it um, and that's something that's overlooked and that's what I want to say is like we're all on our unique path you know we're all doing our, our own thing and, and there's no kind of like there's no kind of linear progression in life, you know? One minute someone could be in a 10 year marriage, everyone thinks, oh, this is great, everything's going well, and someone's been single for 10 years. And a 10 year marriage, they get a divorce, and a person who's single just finds the love of their life. Who's winning, you know? Because the reality of it is no one's winning. There is no winning and losing. There is no, I'm better than you, you're better than me. There is only you against you, that's it. Like, that's all there is in life. It's you versus you, that's it, you know? Sounds kind of corny, it sounds kind of um, cliche, so to say, but you're here. Your job is to be the best version of you. Your job is to come here and it's to overcome the challenges that are here in your life. And the thing is, negativity is you're gonna be your worst enemy. People take their own lives, you know, because they go through difficult things, because they go through traumas they have, and they, they, they don't believe they can pull themselves out of it. And sometimes people can't, you know, and it's sad, but, if you're watching this video, I'm sure it's because you are someone who has what it takes to fix yourself. And um, that's what life's all about, you know? And for me, like recently, again, as I said, I've just been feeling, not, not 100%, like just, you know, I just don't have, I just don't know, I just feel stuck. And I feel stuck, you know? And I think a big part of that is my environment, who I'm around, and that can be an excuse. And I think it's an excuse to a point, but I think I've done, put enough effort in so far to the point now where I think to myself, you know what? Like my environment really is holding me back and I really wanna break out of that. So how am I gonna do that? Take a risk, do some different things. So there's a few kind of opportunities that have popped up this year for me that are outside the box, that are different. And I'm like, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, I can give you some examples like, you know, uh, my barber wants to do like a podcast with me. So I'm like, sweet, let's do it. Um, not so long ago, I got approached in London about modeling. Um, I turned it down because I was like, you know what? I want to focus on my purpose. I want to focus on the mission. This isn't in alignment. And a lot of that was my ego. And I've been really 
thinking about it because obviously six months into the year I'm like okay did I make as much progress as I wanted no why did I not make that progress well it's because you were kind of you can't weren't really allowing the flow of life to happen so I thought you know what let's try and reopen that door let's see what happens and maybe there's something that would suit me because you know I do believe there are like synchronicities and there are things that are presented to you and it doesn't always mean it's the right thing you have to listen to your own intuition but but yeah so there's that um I mean I even asked to be on a tv show and I I just applied I thought you know what screw it like apply because it just gets it out of your head like if you've got this thing lingering around your mind like should I shouldn't I and you're not 100 percent you might as well just do it and see what happens and then you might get to the next step of that thing and go actually no 100 percent this is wrong and you can completely rule it out you don't have to worry about it again but yeah guys um oh, see if I can get back on track with what I was going on about but yeah regardless of like where I'm at what I'm saying I think these videos because they're so raw they're so unedited you can easily judge someone you could look at me right now and go oh, who is this guy but I know in myself like how much knowledge I have how much understanding I have you know I know my own experience in life and I do believe that's unique you know I do believe that's a blessing and I really believe I've got a gift to share with you guys um you know through my different social medias but it's like you know you just always need to remember that you always need to remember like you know you could look at someone you have no idea anything about them you have no idea about their life who they are what they've done what they've been through in life what they're who they how much money they've got you, you have no idea so we do really live in a superficial world and like it's toxic it's toxic you know and i'm very lucky to have very good friends very good people around me uh, that i've built i've built this kind of friendship group of guys that are like-minded like myself which is truly one of the biggest blessings ever and I'm, I'm so grateful for that um but yeah but yeah no one of the things yeah like um that's it you know that's kind of it guys so i think that's as honest as i can kind of get off the top of my head but you know there are days like people think i'm this super i'm super productive guy getting everything done no not always not always i just keep fighting that's one thing i can say about myself okay maybe i'm not perfect Maybe I don't have the perfect routine. Maybe some days I, I can't get up in the morning. Maybe there are some days where I do make a mistake, but it's asking the question, why are you doing that? Because it, you know, sometimes the reason that we, we binge on the food or we go back to the vice is because there's something in our life that has affected us in a deep way that we need to go and heal. It's like knots that we need to go undo. Once we undo those knots, we go back to our life and we notice we don't turn to that vice anymore. We don't need to do this thing because we're operating on a different frequency. Sometimes there's people in our life that are there that cause problems, that are negative, that bring us down, that say negative things. And you know, if you feel trapped, you feel like you're stuck, oh, I need to solve this, I need to go away. Maybe it's a family member and you're tied to them. You have to figure it out. You have to go, okay, how am I going to overcome this you know is there a way out is there a, a hope and it's the thing you know don't you can't lose hope you can never lose hope you always have to believe that it's all unfolding exactly the right way and you know there's been many times in my life where i feel like i'm up there's been times where i'm down one thing that's always stayed in my mind and i can say this with truth and confidence and true honesty is that i really do believe i'm going to make it i really do believe that regardless of what happens I'm gonna be successful, you know, at least to my own standard of what that is. Um, but you've got to take the action, you know, and you've got to decide when. Like, are we doing this or is it just like a thing in our head? And when you get that feeling of like, okay, I'm actually fucking doing this, like, I'm gonna take some action. I'm gonna stop kind of fanning around and just kind of being just this leaf in the wind. And I'm actually gonna take control of my life and I'm gonna steer it in the direction that I want. That's when you truly tap into your power. But sometimes we've got to go through little mini assignments, little internal things. We've got to set everything up perfectly, you know, because when preparation op meets opportunity, that's when success is arise, has arise. So if in your, you, you're in your life right now and you're at rock bottom and you feel like shit, you feel like nothing is going the way you want it to go. How do you not know that there is something that has put you in that position because you need to go through that difficult thing in order to mold you to have the humility, the humbleness, to have the grit to go into the next phase of your life, to accomplish the challenge that, the next challenge that's presented to you. Because I know for me, like, you know, I haven't gone through a lot of things, but there's, there's certain experiences I've had, you know, financially with my family, struggling for money. Um, I've had 
problems with my um you know nothing crazy but you know it does have an effect on you regardless whatever it may be i know the lighting is terrible right now i might start walking the other way actually there we go so, i mean it's a little bit better i guess but yeah you know and going through those things it's like you have to be you have to be mentally strong you have to be tough you have to get through it okay because the environment around you affects you and i know all these guys want to be entrepreneurs and we want to be these super successful masculine men guys we're human beings you know we we absorb energy we absorb the things around us and if you just think you can power through and none of that shit matters you're a fool if you think you're just a lone wolf and you're just gonna do it all by yourself you're foolish you're completely foolish and i can tell you for a fact it's not going to happen and sometimes in life your surroundings is going to hold you back your surroundings going to slow you down you know something happens in your family or something's going on and it's going to prevent you from tapping into the best version there sometimes you just have to let it die. you have to let it run its course like you just have to let those things run their course you just have to endure you just keep enduring you keep that positive mindset you keep the vision you keep you do the best you can you don't just give up because i'm a victim or no fuck that you stay strong you stay mentally strong and you just go look if i give up it's game over no good story came from the person that gave up you know um so yeah that's it you know and eventually things in life will change situations will change things will improve you know there are storms storms pass you know um i think it was king solomon on one of the kings from the old testament he had a ring on his finger and on the inside of the ring it said this too shall pass so anytime he would experience hardship in his life he would look at that ring and it would say this too shall pass and i can tell you for a fact in my life that you know just from my i'm 23 years old i'm gonna be 24 in december um everything i've you know those problems i've had those difficult times they're there for a reason you know and this too shall pass everything passes you know the good times will come and they'll go the bad times they'll come and they'll go that is the cycle of life and at the end of the day you got to be grateful you got to be happy you got to look around you and go you know there's so much beautiful stuff that there are people out there that have more but i, I promise you something who are you who are, who is it that you're looking at that has more because quite often than not those people despite the may, may they may have material gain and material wealth but in here they lack they lack substance they lack meaning they lack fulfillment they're not truly happy they're not truly satisfied and that's everyone's unique experience of life we're all we all you know like i always I always thought of this because i used to be a gamer i used to have a friend that was so much better than me we used to play competitive online esports tournaments and he was always better than me i just couldn't wrap my head how's this guy so good like why can't i be as good as him why can't i be like him and um there's like a, almost a level of envy there, right? And I think it was even my mum who said to me, she said, when you envy someone, it's because there's certain qualities in them that you wish you had. But what you have to understand is that person you envy most likely looks at you and there's certain qualities that you have that they wish they had. Because privilege is inv invisible to those that have it, right? And, um, you know, when you've got privilege, you don't see it, you don't get it. And that's what's so important about being grateful for what you have, you know? And I really feel like I am grateful for what I have. You know, I've got a good family, good people around me. You know, could be better. Always can be better. But man, could be so much worse. Could be so fucking much worse, you know. And you just got to think, like, there's people out there that have nothing. They have nothing. I live in one of the nicest parts of the United Kingdom. i got nothing to complain about. You know, I've got everything at my fingertips. And that's what I'm so grateful for. And, you know... I'm lucky in that sense you know and there are, maybe there is a guy out there that is more lucky than me maybe there's a guy out there that lives in a richer place or whatever good for them that's their life and they've got challenges and they've got things that they need to accomplish you know we're all here on our own journey that's the beauty of what life is guys um but yeah i've kind of gone on more of like a motivational speech 19 minutes in i feel like i keep going i feel like i've got a lot to say but yeah well another thing too actually which wow i'm a bit, a bit late into the video to kind of address this but Obviously, with my content, I want to expand what I'm doing. You know, I focused a lot of the stuff around NoFap and semen retention. But the reason I was doing that was, again, it was a cope. It was a way to just play it safe, not really have to challenge myself, not really have to grow as a person. But that had a lot to do with kind of trauma I was carrying and kind of self-doubt and self, you know, lack of self-esteem and stuff like that. That's a little bit more deeper. But And I wouldn't say I'm fully recovered from that. I wouldn't say I fully kind of got past it. But each day I feel like getting stronger and i feel like i'm ready to kind of push myself a little bit more 
Um, but I know it, it's all falling together, and that's that's kind of what I want to say is everything's working together. And like, yeah, I just want to try something else, you know. Um, I'm someone who likes to control things. I'm not a control freak. I don't control other people. When it's my own life, I really like to be in control. I like to know that like, I'm not at the mercy of some other situation, especially when it comes to my own business and like what I'm doing. So I'm trying to control all these factors. But sometimes you just got to let things flow and let them be what they'll be. And um, that's what I want to do with this. I feel like the NoFap stuff is dead. I don't really like talking about it. I'm happy to make videos on it and cover it, but it's not in alignment with me. I'm 23 years old. <sighs> what do I care about NoFap? I'm freaking, I've done multiple, I've done two years semen retention. I've done a year of semen retention. I'm currently a year in. This is easy for me, you know, and this isn't my life. Like, you know, this isn't the most of who I am as a person. This isn't sh bringing out the best of who I am and my gift to the world. There's so much more that I can give. And I feel like that's, that's what I've realized. And I don't know what that is yet. Like, that's the thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I, got, I need to do. I don't know what the next step is. And that's why I'm just going to trust the process. I'm just going to let things fall into my lap. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow, which sounds kind of different. It sounds kind of against what I said before. But I kind of, you know, I'm just going to, I know the basics. I know the principles. I've got a vehicle. I've got a, an audience. I've got people that want to watch me, people that want to listen to me. So at the end of the day, like, I'll, um, I'll figure it out regardless. In worst case, I'll just go back to it. But I, I just feel like, you know, in my life, I just don't really want to be constantly talking about that. It's just, it's not, I'm not giving my full gift. And I think there's definitely something I could bring to the table when it comes to, you know, this experience of life. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I, I've got a few qualities. I'm not, I'm not the greatest guy in the world, but I really feel like I do have something, you know. I have something that that people people would like me to share. I do think I have a, a level of uniqueness to my character that people appreciate. And um, you know, I think uh, I feel like that'll be a beautiful thing to share with the world. And I think, um, yeah, I just feel like you know, that's what we should all do. That's what we're all here to do. And uh, you know, the sad part about it is like not everyone has these blessings. So I feel like it'd be wrong to not fully tap into them. Um, you've got to live your life for you. and You've got to live your life for you, but also not for you. It's in live for what your soul wants, you know, but be selfless. Why am I even doing this? Why am I making this video right now? Is it for me? Is it because I want to be a superstar? No, you know what it is? It's like, I'm actually thinking, you know what? I think someone would appreciate this. I think someone would watch this from start to finish and go, you know what? Man, this guy's actually like, He's just saying it how it is. He's just saying the truth. But, oh shit, he's not, he's not, you know, he's not at his best. He's not, not feeling his greatest. He's not conquering everything. But at least he's not faking it. At least he's not out here trying to pretend like he's super successful. No, he's just saying how it is. Oh yeah, like this is where I'm at. Um, yeah, figuring it out. You know, figuring it out as we go. And I think that's what this world needs. That's what the internet needs because everyone's doing content everyone's making videos everyone wants to be a freaking celebrity and, oh, bro like forget all that stuff you know and you can go back to my original videos i used to stand on my bedroom and just talk and i i just i had no motive i had no incentive to do it like no one was you know no people did actually start watching funny enough but like and subscribing but i just made it for my, uh, myself i just made it as a form of accountability so i could do this no fat thing and i just talk about my life and um People really resonated with that. They really appreciated it. Because I thought, you know what, like, this guy's just, like, saying the truth, you know? Like, he's not kind of filtering himself, and he's just being so honest and open. And it's hard for me to, like, it's hard for me to tap into that again because I feel a sense of responsibility. And I've, especially in my household, I, I'm i kind of the, quote-unquote, the strong one, you know? So I always have to put on a front. Like, not, it's not, yeah, it's somewhat a front, you know? Like, I don't tell people when I'm upset. I don't tell people when I'm stressed out, like, I just deal with it. I just do it. And yeah, that's necessary. You know, as a, where you are in your kind of role, so to say, that is necessary. But at the same time, maybe necessary, but you need to still take care of you. You need to still to make sure that, you know, because this stuff bubbles up. I don't care how manly you think you are, how tough you think you are. This stuff is there. It's down there. You know, it's stuffed down in your deep, deep unconscious, subconscious part of your brain. Um, and it will manifest itself. So all about being smart it's all about doing the right stuff being around the right people doing the things you enjoy doing the things you love the lighting is terrible 
it is what it is. I will see how this video looks. Um, I probably should have brought some kind of light with me. <laughs> this is terrible. I do apologize. My God. But um, yeah, I think this is a good point to end the video. Um, thank you all for watching, guys. Um, if you do enjoy this and if you're still here and you feel like you've taken some value from what I've said um, and it's kind of like beneficial that I'm kind of sharing this openness, um, just be sure to go ahead and drop me a little comment or a like, drop a like on the video or just drop a comment saying your thoughts because um, otherwise I do not know what you guys think and I really rely on this feedback of the video to know if you guys are pre appreciating something or not. So if you do not many comments, I would just assume that this is not what you want to see more of. But if there are, by all means, I will, I will definitely try my best to, to share. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't made it this far, I truly am grateful for you. And I wish you nothing but blessings and success within your life. And I hope this video was beneficial. I'm going to sign off. Enjoy the rest of your evening, everyone. Take care.